these are what padlocks I use when I'm touring. I have a small on guard one on the front, which is linked by cable lock to the back wheel. I have another D lock, I think this was, yeah, Oxford Hercules lock. This lock is connected to the frame and the back rear wheel. Again, a strong weaved cable lock to, or cable, sorry, to uh, around the front wheel. Then we have this lock up here, which is a long on guard lock. This goes in between, normally it goes in between here onto a railing or around in between here onto a post or railing to lock it up. What padlocks not to use by themselves are any wires or weaved wires which are like cross threaded inside the cable and Poundland specials. I can't, I won't be able to break this with my bare hands, and yes, I have tried. But what I have here is a pair of side cutters I got from Aldi for £3.50. I'm now going to try and cut it with one hand, and it's a bit hard with one hand. It's actually quite a tough, tough one, tough cable. I can hear it. No, for Poundland, I'm really surprised. This is my third cut. No, it hasn't gone yet. I see all the wires in there that are getting absolutely ruined, by the way. Ah, and that, that was, that was that. I am surprised that a Poundland padlock can survive. This is the fourth or fifth snip, five snips. This is what it looks like inside. If I can just get the camera to focus on my hand a minute, then you'll be able to see the wire inside. It is not very good, but it is better than I thought. But yeah, so don't get one of these from Poundland. I'm not leaving it there. I'm just doing it for the camera. And then, oh yeah. Oh. That was good, weren't it? And all the other padlocks will keep your bike nice and safe. If you want to go the extra mile and get a couple of Poundland padlocks just for your saddle, I wouldn't suggest this saddle because it's a Brooks and it's worth the risk <laughs> for a Brooks. And, well, some people find it is anyway, but get a couple of these cable locks, wrap it around there, drill a hole through the headset, wrap a cable through there, just a little one. You just need a bolt to your frame, just a little cable down to your frame or something. And then uh, that should hold up nice. But yeah, look out for these fuckers because they're everywhere. Okay, and they're, they're not a specialty item. No one will look twice at you for buying them. You can get them over, well, like I said, I got them from Aldi or Lidl for a few quid, like three quid or something. You know, not even a fiver. So for a fiver, you can go out nick as many bikes as you want as long as it has a Poundland fucking thing on it which is shit this bike is Ridgeback Panorama if this went missing I'd be flipping out this is 12 1300 quid bike back in the day when it was um, about 4 or 5 years old now and it really needs some new cables and that on this but I should have said that on my review actually but enough of that these padlocks very heavy duty uh, bit of trouble getting this front one to fit on uh, but that's what I found is the most efficient way all in all it does weigh about three three and a half kilograms but you've still got your bike and you're going to be carrying more than three kilos of food and water at any time anyway so if you're heavy duty cycling wherever you are then make sure you take at least two D-locks at least two of these. I have three D-locks just to be absolutely sure that no one's even going to try and nick my shit because it's not actually getting through the material everything can be broken, bent and damaged and whatever and also if the key is damaged someone's tried getting it with a false key or uh, a bump key or whatever they want to try or pick my lock and it snaps off inside or whatever I can't get to it but just be aware that these cables take about six to eight minutes to get through 
and these weaved cables take about a little bit longer, a couple of minutes longer, so about eight or nine, ten minutes max. Um, if you've got a pair of these, that is. But if you come along with a proper pair of wire cutters for actual army cable and stuff, they'll get through it, they'll nick your bike, they'll nick all your panniers, all your cameras, all your laptop or whatever, all your clothes, and you'll be stuck in the middle of Scotland with no bike and no way home. So, my advice get three pad D locks, two or three army cables, and some steel cabling to go around your panniers so no one nicks your panniers because that's your main your main home that is and you can't really replace that when you're out on the road especially when you're like me and you're on a budget so invest in a good bike good padlocks and a good seat and keep your seats safe most people take them off but luckily for me this is welded in there so i don't have to lock that up i've got something just buzzed past me i've got front skewer on my bike quick release skewer and on the rear I have as well, I've just noticed. But then again, locking it up like this, no one's going to be cutting through the rim of the bike in two places. Just get the padlock off because that would ruin the wheel anyway. Uh, if I was a thief and looked at this bike, I think you might as well just cut through the post it's attached to. And then uh, lift the whole bike into your van. But by that time, uh, the police would be on to you, mate. And if I caught you nicking my bike, you're in fucking trouble. So that's what I use and I hope this helped and don't help and help you should help yourself by not going to Poundland. So for bicycle things, it's alright if you go to the shop for two minutes. Uh it took me under a minute to get through it. I could have done it faster, but I just wanted to do it straight cuts. So it show that how crap it was, but I was pleasantly surprised. Why I cut that was I bought it for my panniers to lock my panniers up. And unfortunately, in Poundland, I didn't see. Well, it was my own fault, really. I didn't check that the keys were with the lock. So, if you're a dumbass like me, that's fine. It's more than that's fine and acceptable. But just learn by my mistake and remember to make sure the keys come with the padlock. 